Hi there. In this video, I'll be showing you one of the coolest AI tools that we've just implemented in Replicant, the AI Background Creator. So starting from Replicant's default startup project, we've created a simple AI-generated scene using a single character and a couple of cameras. We'll find the AI Background tool by clicking on the Window tab and then Background. Once opened, you can locate the Window tool wherever you like. For a start, we find three tabs. None, which as you have guessed, it shows no background. Plate, which allows us to create and use a 2D image as a background. And 360, which generates a 360 degrees AI image and places it on a 3D dome, which surrounds the scene. And this is the type of AI background that I'll be showing you today. First of all, we'll hide or delete the gray dome from the startup project so it doesn't interfere with the AI background. Now, in the background tool, we'll select the 360 tab and a new dome will appear showing the default background, a nice autumn forest in a vibrant yellow color. We have two ways to project our background. First is center mode, which will project the texture on a dome mesh with a ground plane that is ideal for large exterior environments. The second option is camera, which disables the ground tracking and enables the image to follow the camera. Replicant provides with a number of parameters to adjust our AI generated background. We can determine the position of the dome in the scene, offset the projection, change the dome size and its rotation, zooming and displacing vertically the texture. All of this allows us to get the best fit with the less amount of distortion. Replicant also allows us to generate AI images for our domes by clicking on the Generate button. There we'll find tabs for image where we can generate AI 2D images to be used as plates, textures, etc. and Sky Texture 360, where we'll be able to create any type of texture to be projected onto a 360 dome. Replicant also provides an ample selection of styles to choose from. We're selecting Fantasy Lands, as this seems just right for our character. Now it's time to write in the prompt a description of the background we'd like. So, let's say, hmm, flower fields with mountains and buildings. Let's see what we can get with this. Let's click on Generate and wait for the AI to do its job. Okay, there we go. That looks promising. Let's apply it to the scene to see how it works. Nice! I like it! This background looks really cool, don't you think? Now let's make some texture projection adjustments with the tool parameters that we've just seen before. Now it looks just perfect! Replicant not only lets us save the AI-generated texture, it also allows us to create endless variations on the same prompt. Let's create some more of them. So just imagine the creative possibilities of using replicant powerful AI tools. They're infinite. You can create a huge collection of backgrounds, which can be used in a matter of seconds in any project. And that is exactly what I'm going to do now. This is so enjoyable. You know, sometimes I sit here and I wonder, I'm like, why am I single? How am I single? And then I remember I'm freaking weird, dude. I'm like, so weird.